but i can see that the computer is obviously seeing things differently yeah that's the, that magic. the magic that's right? the magic can you go ahead and stand there behind the console yeah 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 magic It's magic, I'm in fantasy land. All right, so now you are there, and just because of the green screen, everything else is uh, with the graphic. Oh. Yeah. In my last video, I showed you how to use OBS to get great sounding audio. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a green screen to add an image, a graphical background, or a logo to your live stream. Let's jump right into it. What's good you guys welcome to my YouTube channel my name is Deep and this is where I do a lot of DJing related tutorials tips and tricks to help you become a better DJ and to get better at using technology so if you're new here consider subscribing in one of my last videos where I taught you how to use OBS to get great sounding audio I mentioned that I will call my brother DJ Jasmeet to my studio to show you guys how to use a green screen to add an image and a graphical background so Please welcome my brother Jasmeet. Hey, how are you doing? So today I've taken over your favorite DJ Deep Bhamra's YouTube channel and I'm going to show you how to get your video right in your live stream. Audio is definitely important for a good live stream. DJ Deep Bhamra has taught you that in his previous videos. But to enhance and make a memorable experience, video plays an important part too. And here I am to show you how it is done the right way. Okay, Jasmeet, can you also show us the setup? What is the hardware setup? What do we do? For it's the... really easy. Hmm. You have your DJ console here. Yes. I stand right behind here. Correct. Okay. And here's your laptop. In front of the console. Yes. Right. In front of the console. Hmm. And uh, we have a cam on the laptop. Correct. If you don't have a cam, you can use a webcam. Okay. All right. I can see but, that now. Yeah, but the cam works fine. All right. Perfect. Yes. So then uh, I would stand behind the console, hmm. and behind me, that's behind the DJ, would be the green screen. It is a bed sheet actually. Hmm. I don't have a green screen, so you can use a bed sheet as long as it is spotless clean. Okay. And you can bring it up however you want to. Okay. Okay, like I've used the hairpin and the <laughs> clip there. <laughs> Do your own thing. So your it's work. a hack, it works. It's, it's been hanging on. Hmm. It will hang on. How did you get the right. hooks on the wall? Very quick? Uh, yeah, just it's very quick. <laughs> it's okay. a permanent setup. Yes, yes. Cool. So yeah. that's how it is. Okay, now green screen, computer and uh, yeah, so console. I I stand here. Right, show us. Yeah, I stand here. Hmm. That's the laptop. Correct. Me in the green screen. Okay, so when you stand here, but I can see that the computer is obviously seeing things differently. Yeah, that's the, that magic. Is the magic. That's right? the magic. Can you go ahead and stand there behind the console? Yeah, 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 yeah. Magic. It's magic, I'm in fantasy land. All right, so now you are there, and just because of the green screen, everything else is uh, with the graphic. Oh, yeah. Okay. Makes sense. Makes sense. Okay. Does the distance matter and all that? Yeah, I mean, people like to see your players and you on the uh, feed. That's so nice. it's important you show your players also. Of course. So whatever we see, the mess will obviously not be visible if we add the graphics. No, the okay. magic starts there. So now it's time for us to learn how to set up the computer for this to work, and then we'll show you how this weird-looking place may look a world apart. On your laptop, open OBS. Deep has already taught you guys how to get audio into the stream. So if you haven't seen that video, check that out because that's the first step to this process. Once that is done, you will see that the audio signal is received. Now it's time to create a scene. Let's create a scene by clicking on the plus sign here. You can name it anything. I've named it DJ Livestream and click OK. Now that your scene is created, it's time to add graphics, logos, etc. And that is done in the source section. Let's start by adding the background. Click on the plus icon here. And for the background, click on the media source. Just rename it. I'm going to call it background video. This window will open up. Click on browse and locate the file. Then click open and then click OK. Once you click OK, the background video or graphics will be added. You can use any video here. Resize it to fit the screen or you can also right click, click on transform and click on fit to screen to do the same. That's it. You've now added the background. Now let's add the logo. For that, click on this plus icon here and select image. Rename it. I'm just going to call this DJ logo. Then click browse. Locate the file you want to use and click open. One thing to note here is that the logo needs to be in PNG format. That way it will have a clear background. 
then click OK. Again resize it and place it wherever you like. I'm going to leave it on the top right corner and that's it. That's how you add a logo. Now this is more than enough to get you going but I personally like to add a foreground as well. For that click on the plus icon and click on image. Now select your image again a PNG file click open and then click OK. I'm going to resize it just like before and place it on the center. That's it. That's how you can add multiple images to the feed. Now let's add some text. This is just to show you the possibilities. Again, click on the plus icon under the sources tab, then click on text. Rename it as for your choice. I'm just going to leave it as text. Click OK and this window will open up. Now add your text. I'm going to write a DJ live session, but you can type whatever you like. You know, you can change the font and text size too. Then click OK and again resize it and place wherever you like in the feed. So we have added the background, the logo, the foreground, the text. Now it's time to add the camera. Click on the plus icon and click on the video capture device. Rename it as webcam and then click OK. Now under the device tab, you can select your camera. I'm using the built-in camera for this demonstration. You can even use a webcam. Select your cam, and then click OK. Again, resize it to fit the screen. Make sure the window is cropped within the green screen background only and place it where it suits right on your screen. This is important. But you can still see the green screen. To hide that, we need to add a filter. For that, right click on the webcam source and click on filters. This window will pop up. Now under the effects filter section, click on the plus icon and select chroma key. Click OK. In this window, make sure the key color type is selected as green. Play with the settings a bit to adjust your room's lighting and just make sure the green screen turns gray without your face changing the color. Just edit according to your preference and that's it. And now you can go ahead and start your live stream. Whatever you see here is what people will see on the live stream. Whether you use a Windows or a MacBook Pro, the process to do this setup is the same. If you don't know how to start the stream, please watch the video that is mentioned in the description. Deep has already mentioned how to do this in one of his previous videos. All right, the scene is set now. All right, you've set your scene in OBS, but two very important tips. Hmm. There you go to tools, go to auto configuration wizard, okay? Optimize for streaming, the first option, go next. Uh, just let this be as it is. Use the current 128 720. Hmm. Go next. Choose your service. We hit Facebook Live. Now, what is this for? This is. This is uh, basically it enhances your stream. It makes it perfect, smooth functioning. Okay, so it's yeah. an auto configuration of the stream. Yes. yes. Okay. 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 And just go next and follow the instructions. Very easy. Okay. Done. All right. And and one more tip. Go to the settings. Okay. Go to the settings here. Mm -hmm. Go to the output. Your video rate, my advice is set it anywhere between 2000 to 3000. Okay. Sometimes right now, it's set it to, it's 2000 because I was using it. Okay. Sometimes it's set to 5000. Okay. After using auto configuration, it may set to 5000. Right. But set this to 2000 or three, two, anywhere between 2000 and 3000. Okay, between 2000 and, and 3000. Yeah, it reduces the load in the computer and it flies. The screen will go right So this soon. is for the guys who yeah. have a underpowered computer. Underpowered or even generally because you know, most people, uh, you, if you're having a 5000 kbps stream, uh, we're not watching you know, HD TVs or Correct. something like that. It's so for the phones. phones or your laptops, people are watching it or so just casting it. Right. So it's fine. It's it's similar. Similar. Interesting. Yeah. So this is from your experience? Yeah. <laughs> cool. Yeah. So this is the setup that we just finished, correct? Yes. Yeah. All right, so that's how you add great video to your live streams. Thank you so much, Jasmeet, for showing us how to do that. Guys, there is actually another way where you can add videos to your live stream, the music videos, basically for VDJs who are performing a live video, you can add that to your live feed as well on the background. To learn that, please let us know in the comments below and we'll teach you how to do that as well. So that's it for today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this collaboration with Jasmeet. And I hope that he was able to teach you guys something really important and really interesting. Now, if you guys like what we're doing, please don't forget to hit that like button and comment in the comment section below and let us know that you guys enjoyed this video. And while you're at it, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. That encourages us to make more great video content. 
Thank you so much for watching today. I'll see you guys in the next one. Happy to help.